Hello everyone, my name is Alina and in this video I would like to give you a solid reason why you should learn how to program and what possibilities it will open for you if you know how to code. All the salaries that I will mention in this video are taken from the statistics on average salaries in Denmark and I also think it's uh, pretty close to average salaries in the whole Europe. If you are not subscribed to this channel, then I will be very happy if you subscribe and press the like button. I would like to tell you a story about Bob. Bob has been working as an accountant for five years. He has decided that it's time for a change and he wants to learn how to code. But he doesn't know where to start, what he wants to code and where he wants to work. He just wanted to build something great from the pieces of code that he learned every day. Instead of spending days on picking the language that he wants to learn, he picked JavaScript. Every day he was spending four hours after his day job learning JavaScript, practicing, building small, simple functionality. When he started feeling that JavaScript became his friend, he went on LinkedIn and checked what jobs he could get with his JavaScript knowledge. Going through hundreds of job ads, he landed on job posts from Lego, where they were searching for a junior front-end developer. He realized that he lacks knowledge of JavaScript libraries. He did his research and a few months later he was ready to apply to Lego, as he became pretty good with React and besides that, he also took a couple of courses related to user experience. He got the job! And he became a front-end developer at LEGO with a salary of $5,436 per month. He worked as a front-end developer for quite a while, but then he realized that maybe writing code and building new things is not something for him, and maybe he would enjoy more breaking stuff instead. He decided to become a quality assurance engineer. In most cases, a tester job requires to get scripting, automation, cross-platform testing experience. But Bob found his way around. Because Bob worked as a front-end developer, he had an advantage among other applicants. Even with the minimum set of testing skills, but with a strong will and desire to learn, he became a quality assurance engineer with a salary of $5,224. It was all good at the beginning, but he started missing coding, and he realized that he wants to go back to programming but he needs more challenges. He decided to become a full-stack developer. To become a full-stack developer, Bob would need to get knowledge and skills in one of the backend programming languages. He went the smart way and picked Node.js as he already knew JavaScript. At the same time, he went on LinkedIn again and he made a quick statistic what backend language is the most in demand in his country. He started learning c -sharp but at the same time he decided to spice up his set of skills and knowledge with databases. And when I say knowledge of databases, I don't mean writing some crazy queries or stop procedures. I mean that CRUD is good enough for the beginning. So here is Bob working as a full-stack developer in one of the biggest bank in his country, earning $6,426 per month writing some business logic, sometimes he makes architectural decisions, sometimes he works on a front-end where his little button makes customers happy, because they can get some important report when they press it. And his teammates are also happy with him, because his programming skills allow him to write highly optimized, well-performing code. And starting from this point, if Bob decides to change his career, he has all the doors open. He can become a mobile app developer, a DevOps engineer, a game developer, a blockchain developer, a machine learning engineer, and this list can be continued. The point of this story is once you learn one programming language, it will be quite easy for you to learn your second or third or and so on. Your life becomes pretty flexible because it's up to you to decide where do you want to work, what project you want to work on, what job title you want. Do you want to work remotely or in the office or combine both of them? You can become whatever you want. Once you understand how to program, this knowledge will also help you to run your own business. Being a good programmer means constant self-development, but it also means that you have unlimited possibilities. Yes, it requires time and efforts, but can you really complain about it if you enjoy what you're doing? Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy it, and if you can come up with more reasons why learning programming is a good idea, then please write them down in the comments below, I will be happy to read it, and maybe it will also help someone else to make a right decision. And I will see you in the next one!